Nick Cannon mornings on Power 106. It's time for those up close and personal conversations. Yes, close conversations with people that I admire. Legends in the game, fixtures, and this brother is all of that in the above. So much more. I'm in the presence of a king, uh, an icon, the one and only Jada Kiss, man. What's poppin'? Nick, what's good, man? What's good, yeah, my I, guy? I, I'm, I'm honored to be, you know what I mean? I ain't know this was one of the... A part of my itinerary. Oh, uh, word, word. So, yeah, so, yeah, no, this is good. This is a beautiful thing. I appreciate it. Yo, real talk. So the first time, uh, you probably don't remember this. First time we ever met was on in Nickelodeon when y'all performed and all that. And you was doing a, a jiggy joint you with think the I'm with jiggy. I remember that. <laughs> with That's the, how long he been getting money. <laughs> Nickelodeon money when you know, yo, you, you know But I, mean? I was so amped and so hyped. Well, I was like, yo, the locks gonna be on all that. Like y'all was the most gangster shit to ever step foot on all that. Like usually, cause we was having pop acts come through. And all, yo, the locks came through the Nickelodeon. I was so juiced. That was that was Puff trying to show us how strong his arm was back then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out to Arista. Yeah, yeah. Man, bad boy. That was a different time, man. Different golden era. Definitely different budgets. Different. True Everything golden era different. of hip hop because we're in a we're in a nice era right now. These kids is getting money. Yeah, they're but getting like, a lot of nice paper right now. But the the like where hip hop was like that intrinsic, just like yo, we putting a stamp on the culture. Truly during that time because it was it was out like y'all was street cats, but was getting such exposure and breaking down so many doors for there to be hip hop in the way that it is today, man. Like mm -hmm. when you look back like that, how does that make you feel? Like yo, I'm. I'm pro I'm in the I'm in the history books of what hip hop really is about. It definitely makes me feel good because you know, um, just before even being able to be a part of it and looking being on the outside looking in, to to want to be able to get next to the biggies and the red mans and the hoves and yeah, and prove yourself to them and get the stamp from them to be able to pass the baton on. That was like. All time rush, or all time adrenaline, yeah. bigger than any. Bigger and you than was a money. young cat back then. Yeah. Cat didn't understand like y'all. Teenager, was yeah, a teenager getting it. So, you know the this just that whole learning experience, and I tell the cats today that that was priceless more than. Of course, it was good to make some money, buy my mom's a house, and yeah, do shit like that. But to sit there and be around big and be around Puff when he was he was still learning and. You know what I mean? On through that journey, that kind of stuff was crazy and bad and rough riders and all of that. Watching them come from street dudes and having to go corporate and figure it out on the whim. Yeah, all of that is priceless and helped me build my brand and my business and learn the do's and don'ts of you know what I mean? How to just carry my business. So man, and it's just like even watching you move and and kind of be one of those guys in the game and like even when you talk about top fives like. You you would do that are in people's top fives, you know what I mean? Like yeah. a lot of times where you know to be up there with the with the likes of the biggies and the pox and the I, I, everybody the the hoes and like when they talk lyricists, Jada Kiss name is always in the conversation. And then to still be popping and still be doing it just as heavy today, I mean, what's the secret to the sauce? The key word what you said is that it's still in the conversation. Yeah. Um, you know, the, them them rap lists is like religious conversation. <laughs> right. A rap a rap top anything list is like a religious argument. Right. That could go on forever. forever. But the but beat, you got some factual scriptures though. You got some quotable. <laughs> you got some scriptures like, oh yeah, that nigga did say that. Like that's, to be mentioned though, to, cause you know I I'm around I, my colleagues and I'm I'm around dudes that don't. Some of them never get mentioned. So right. Yeah. To be mentioned in any of them conversations, that's a blessing alone. Like something that you just gotta bump your head on the floor and think the highest power that yeah. you mentioned. But me, I just try to stay in the loop. Right. Um, embrace the new stuff. You know what I mean? Give advice to them. They always hit me. They always come for me for a verse, for a stamp as far as on the New York demographics after they covered the West Coast and Midwest and yeah. down bottom when they doing their New York run. A lot of them will come through D Block and work with us and work with me just to solidify that New Yorkness and 
I got a son, 22, about to be 23. He keeps me on my toes with <laughs> what's the new. Yo, Dad, I'm telling you this and that. You yeah. Know what I mean? He went to Clark Atlanta. He graduated Clark. Oh, that's what's up, so HBCU. He's a part of my team, um. Yeah, and just never, never put myself in a bubble. Even though you get mentioned in them conversations, never thinking I'm too. Always staying fresh. Always listening. Always staying on the wheel. Like yeah. I tell people, hip hop is the Ferris wheel. Right. And um, it's go around slow as far as fashion, as far as sonically, as far as everything. The yeah. jewelry from Gordy, the little small pieces. It's, the, it all come back always around. Change and it's always gonna come back. But the challenge is staying on the wheel. Right. Right. But stay on the wheel. And when it gets to your sphere, you can drill it and capitalize. But staying on the wheel is the hardest part. The hardest part. That's the most What would you say thing. going on that wheel? What was one of those times where it was like, yo, we, we at the bottom of the wheel now. I got to figure this shit out. When, when was that? I mean, probably when the when everything changed. Because sometimes it changed slowly and sometimes it changed dramatically. Yeah, yeah, It yeah, just yeah. got super tight and the whole sound of, you know, when... When lyrics went to the foresight of the <laughs> when when lyrics went to the back. It was just about was making just, the sound. Yeah, when it just turned into a sound, <laughs> yeah. it got a little <laughs> crazy <laughs> for me. But I was fortunate. I was always in Atlanta back in the day, so I was on all of them little John albums. Yeah. I was on UGK. I mean, MJ, you know, A-Ball and MJG MJ, joints. Yeah. I did a lot of work with D4L. I did I was good down bottom. Yeah. So I was able to surface and bring my brothers along too. And we, we just always kept good rapports. Yeah. That's another thing about this game. Yeah, Anybody and even like your pull, records you was working with Pharrell and all that. Yeah. Like you always Try had to, you know what I mean, that's something that that we learned from Big to yeah. do do it all and do it yeah. do it to the top of your ability, no matter if it's a St. Odds commercial, no matter what kind of thing it is, try to do it do it to death. And yeah. that helped us when that dramatic when yeah. it changed to just a sound. Yeah, and even before then, like, I mean, obviously it's it's so dope, man, to see you sitting here, LA Dodgers gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All yeah. Of, but you were around during that time when it was really a divide between the East Coast and the West Coast. That and was crazy. Like, man, I can't imagine because I mean I was a young cat and I, I was I was moving around, but I wasn't established. But I would see like Yo, Cats was really like, nah, they from the East Coast. Or what? It was almost on some like yeah, it was separate, gang banging it, it, yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was crazy for a minute. And and like, but to sit here today and know that it's all love and and that we've all overcome that and that that crab in the barrel, that divide and conquer mentality, we didn't let it let it beat us. But we we lost some some of the best and, and some real soldiers. True to that, but to know that we sit in here now and it's all love. love man, what, is what, beautiful. What, what type of testament is that? Knowing that you know you saw the other side of it. Um, it's just it shows the culture. It shows the strength. It shows how hip hop evolves. It shows that. How do we get there though? Like, how did they they brainwash us to make us think I that? I think a lot. Uh, where media, we lived could the, divide us. The media played a lot of, you know what I mean? Everything in hip hop, not everything, but a big portion of it is perception. Yeah. And what you see or something or some, how something's portrayed or how a certain question is asked or how an interview is edited. And right, right, right. There's a right. lot of things that plays in the part and played in the part when they try to. That's what Malcolm whole, X talk about all yeah, the time. When it was a whole East Coast, West Coast thing, it was a divide and conquer thing as far as the media, if you ask me. And once they got their foot all the way in it, they was able to stare it. Yes, and, it and make money off of yeah, it. You know what I mean? And that's the thing, like, we wasn't eating off of that at, 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 all, at all. But they, every paper, every interview. Magazines, they was that was that was their chance to eat. Yeah, because I talk to Snoop about that a lot. And I always say, like, man, as us, that's even why I'm here today. It's like, man, we got to learn how to master the media and manipulate the media because otherwise the media will manipulate, manipulate us. And, 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 it, and it's just really controlling our own narratives and having real conversations. conversations yeah. So where it's not like, yo, you ain't got to be worried about when you step into a room that somebody going to try to say something that you're not cool with. Or they going to try to finesse this and, and edit it a certain way. If we control the narrative. We control how it gets how it gets let out and everything is good after that. Yeah, so you know I mean? so in the in the grand scheme of things, Jada Kiss's narrative, like what what is it? Like when you when you say like when the when the Jada Kiss book comes out, what is that statement? What is that like, yo, this is who I am and this is what I represent for the culture? Um, just a good you know, I just wanna go down I always Don't say, be humble right no, here. No, Jada. no, I always like, say at my funeral, you, I just want I just want 
you know, my peers, family, loved to say ones, one of the best that ever did it. He was a good it. nigga all around. <laughs> you know what I mean? I um, I got a good heart. I'm yeah. a Gemini, so <laughs> my, my heart could get ugly. But <laughs> right. for the most part, I I try to help people. Yeah. Um, I'm a father of five, so that I'm a different. Salute. And when I'm in the crib, I'm I'm dad. So, right, right. You know what I mean? To balance out your job and balance out being a father and dealing with the Facts. the plights of life and this and that and you know what I mean from from going from here and flying home and practicing sight words right, with right. my twins. You right, know what right. I mean? That's a that's a part of life that people don't see. And Papa it's all Jada. about it's all about balance with me. You know yeah. what I mean? Level is one of the only words in the world that you spell it backwards is the same way. Mm, okay. A, you gotta have that in life no matter how good it is, how bad it is, whatever you're doing, if you're able to have some balance you'll be able to, you know what I mean, maintain. There it is. Now, now Jada Kiss, from what I've seen, I've seen many sides, but most of the public only sees the serious side. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he, he ain't, you, you came on wild and out. I appreciate that. Oh, Yo, you know, I got to come back because I was coming off a of root canal. Oh, uh, okay. So I wasn't, you know what I mean? I didn't want to cancel because you my family. Yeah, and yeah. I, I needed the look and yeah. I, I appreciate, you know what I mean, even calling me. But nah. the people don't know, I, I was, I I got a root canal, yeah. went to the airport, flew and, and pulled and up. did it. But I'm going to go back and give y'all the other side because I'm a really funny guy. Yeah. You know? that, <laughs> funny like how? He got on his Joe Pesci real quick. No, real. <laughs> Real talk, we doing old school versus new school this upcoming season. Oh, that's so, fire. So so come that's rock fire. with us. Yeah. Uh, we shooting in December. It's about to be crazy. We shooting at the Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta. So I got to give you a thanks for how you incorporated the battle rap and made a platform yeah. for them dudes. Charlie yeah. Clips, Hitman, yeah. all of them dudes. That, you, you a genius in Appreciate that. Appreciate you. You opened up doors for them when, yeah. when everybody seemed to just turn their back or you know put them in a bubble. Say they only you, can do you, one you, you thing. Don't, you need more credit for that because that's, looking. you know what I mean? You gave some young black dudes the opportunity to travel the world and yeah. display their talent and be on TV, make money. Yeah, I, said, I look at things like that. Man, I mean, that's I real talk. That means a lot coming real from talk. you too. Even one time, I remember you had you 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 peeped when when someone that you look up to and especially that has a skill set when it comes to lyricism shots you out, man. I remember you said something about one of those spoken words I did that was a thing. Great, like, you had one but, of them things <laughs> need to go into somewhere in the Google and hot. Nah, yeah. one of them I had to hit you yeah. it was crazy. In fact, I had to hit you. I said this Yo, is crazy. Yeah, man, I remember. I think it was the one about the the Oscar so white, yeah. and I was like, that was nuts. Jada dog. kids called me. He's like, "Yo, you went crazy. Yeah, you Your went. bars on that, like, man, that meant so much man. to me. So knowing that my my guy, one of my favorite MCs, is definitely here, and I can have a conversation with him means a lot. But I got the vest on, Jada, so I got to shoot from the hip. I got to hit you with these questions. Nobody right, is exempt. No, no doubt. <laughs> we going in. It's, it, it, it's all the way up. It's called the firing squad. Jada Kid's first question off top. We always say this. You know, in uh, psychology, there's only two emotions, love and fear. Which one would Jada Kiss rather be, loved or feared? I'd rather be loved. All right. You say that like you put some like 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 there was some, some substance behind behind that. I'd rather one. be loved because if you because I, I I told you I'm a Gemini. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I got a good heart, but my heart could get ugly. So <laughs> I'd rather be on the love side. Start than the, there. In the fear side. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of fears, what's Jada Kiss's greatest fear? Being in the air. I don't mm. like roller coasters. I don't like. Word? I mean, I, I'm cool with flying? airplanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I don't have a a flying phobia. But as far as like rock climbing and upside down roller coasters and <laughs> you ain't with you know, all that. Yeah, shit. I don't. I think I, I was born to be on, <laughs> on the, the ground. ground. Yeah. <laughs> Understood. Lighten it up a little bit. Favorite movie of all time. My favorite movie of all time is Gangster as I Am is Wildcats. <laughs> Word? Yeah, Cats don't even about, know about that joint. Yeah, well, the football joint. For right? some, maybe you could do it Goldie over. Goldie You need to do that over, Nick. Yeah. Get me in that. But, That'd uh, be yeah. No, I, I played a lot of sports when I was little. I, yeah. mean, I was a quarterback, so oh, okay. when that movie came out, it just did something to me. You know Understood. I, mean? I loved it. Goldie Hawn, yeah, Young Wesley. Out to Goldie Hawn. Young, Woody. young Wesley was yeah, in that joint. Yeah, a lot of dudes was in there. They was young. I, I, I love um, Wildcats. That's, That's what's one of up. my favorite movies. Best piece of advice Jada Kiss has ever received. Um, Hove told me this many years back it take a special nigga to grind mm. you know what I mean it's easy to if something's inherited to you if you 
if they let you in the back door, but for you to stand on the line and make your way through and then you get the corner office, that takes a special person. So there you, know, it is. you don't ever take nothing for granted. Work hard every day and you you should be all right. Worst piece of advice you've ever received? As soon as you get that check, go to Jacob and get the. <laughs> we all did that, right? <laughs> Man, I have so many. I got. I just got them little big ass colorful watches just sitting around now. What the hell are we supposed to do with this shit? <laughs> Burn up, man. You know, uh, it's all good. Shouts out to Jacob. Made a bag off of all of them. Everybody. <laughs> Worst job Jada Kiss has ever had. I worked at a spot called Walter's Hot Dogs. <laughs> I don't know what it was, my 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 uncle's my uncle's girl or his wife was the manager so that she got was, you in there she got me it was the where the lo, where the spot was located at I thought it was going to be a breeze like I could just go in there nobody would come in I right. won't have to do wild work right it, it seemed like soon as I got high it, <laughs> it got, shit got hot. lit yeah everybody started coming in I, <laughs> I was working you hard imagine Jada kids making a hot dogs Walter's hot dog. <laughs> Crazy. Yo, that's crazy. You had to put the relish and all, that. all of that. I was in, I was in full assembly line. <laughs> that's wild. All right, you on an island. You only can take three things. What you taking? Stranded. As much weed as I can. <laughs> right. Or just take a plant so you can grow that shit. Nah, it's going to take too long. <laughs> you, try, you ain't trying to be on I the need, island that long. I need some peas. <laughs> right. A lighter. Right. In the keg of water. There, there it is. You, you're going to be high <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> and hydrated. And hydrated. Yeah. There it is. Uh, biggest guilty pleasure. I don't know. Something you can't live without, but you, you really shouldn't have it. Is it a dietary thing? Because I know you're on your French health. Fries. French fries. Oh, man, that's my shit, too. I can be going. Yo, your I, workout regimen is ill. Good luck. You get busy. You, 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 <laughs> good luck. You need to be on the cover of men's health. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you need that. it. Well, yeah, nah, fries. Because, you know, I can I can get in my zone and start going hard. But, nah, that's my one thing, have, too. Because I, I don't let go of the meat and all that shit, but French fries. Fries is hard. Man, I don't eat shit. meat either, but yeah. fry, I can't escape in, but if you look at Dick Gregory, yep, let's talk he about. He said it. something's in potato. He said there's something in there that, you know what I mean? I forgot what it is, but it's something that's addictive. That's yeah. in potato. So nah, Dick, he had to, he got to be right because fries is hard yeah. to get off. His Shouts point. out to Baba Dick Gregory, Facts. rest in peace. Now we already had this conversation a little bit, but I, I'd be remiss if I didn't at least open up the conversation of Jada's favorite. I'm not gonna say top favorite MCs, five of them. Gotta say big, of course. Of course. B.I. Yeah. Um, Esco. Nas. Ooh, okay. Uh, Hove. Okay. This, right now, this, this history can't be beat. <laughs> um, my brother, Styles P. Mm. If you listen to his discography. Come on, man. We, you see he's a different type of individual. Absolutely. He's a different sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um. Something you can't get at Walters. <laughs> five, five could go. You gonna go, go, go. Might as well throw uh, yourself in there. That's a. I ain't gonna throw that's me. That's that bitch just right I there. Gotta throw, I gotta throw DMX in there. Ooh. My fifth, cause the dog. If you, you know, we the dog. Was you around dog, when when and DMX around, battled and all of that? Nah, that was a little bit before my time, but he battled. He battled another dude from where I'm from called Bill Blast. Uh huh. And it was big. It was as big as. Nas and Hov for, really? for Yonkers. Yeah. Like the whole Yonkers was, when I say the whole Y.O., I almost got my ass whipped <laughs> by my mom from being, I came in like Mad five late. something in the morning <laughs> through the window. I was probably in seventh or eighth grade, but I, I was risked the ass whipping. Just to beat. see that yeah, battle. It was crazy. It was epic. You know, just to see X from going from like a hood hero to actually having five number one, you know what I mean, albums. Yeah. And, and Only person to ever drop in, what two number ones in, in six one months, year? It's six yeah. months. It's so he changed the he changed the the time limit of when you can drop back to back albums. Yeah, he broke barriers. He did Woodstock. You know yeah. what I mean? To come from my hood, walking around with a pit bull, yeah, robbing people with his dog, to being doing movies with Jet Li. Is, <laughs> he is, used is to something. rob people with the dogs. 
Yeah, X was crazy. He used to, <laughs> he used to, his dog, when he, he, he's a dog lover. Right. He loved his dog. He right. loved all of them, but he had a dog, Boomer. Yeah. It was dangerous. <laughs> you ever see him with Boomer, you know. It's it going he down. Robbing, <laughs> robbing everything with his dog. <laughs> Not arm robbery. Just arm robbery. Just dog, dog robbery. robbery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. This has been Up Close and Personal Conversations with Jada Kiss, and I always end it with this. Uh, I know what the word I would use to describe you, but I was saying when you describe Jada Kiss in one word, legacy, all of that stuff, what would that word be? Authentic. Authentic. Y'all hear it. Man, we can't wait for the new Jada Kiss album. I know you cooking up. Ignatius, it, check it out. It's going all the way in. I'm sitting here with my brother, somebody I truly look up to, somebody who's truly authentic, the one and only Jada Kiss, Nick Cannon Mornings. So let's go. Let's go.